do, ladies and gentlemen, now is that we will move to the second presentation. Meanwhile, uh, Marco will try to fix the connection. So we have Thierry Amusongubu, uh, yes, <laughs> from the United Nations Economic Commission for Africa, presenting about the University of Turku initiatives. Thank you very much. Uh, and Pascal Do will be presenting together. We are three, Pascal and you. So my name is Thierry Amusubu. I'm from uh, the United Nations Economic Commission for Africa. And uh, mainly I'm coming from uh, the African Institute of Economic Development and Planning. IDEP, which is based in Dakar. IDEP is uh, one of the training institutions, the training arm of ACA, who, which has been established uh, since 1962 by the General Assembly. So we have been operational since 56 years to train government officials, the senior and mid-career government officials in uh, economic policy management and development planning. So what I'm going to share with you here is, uh, and after the agreement that we signed, the ECS signed with uh, the University of Turku, and so what? As uh, we are all saying, we need to move now to action. And uh, what are the key activities, the key initiatives that we have identified as a kind of potential initiative that can fast track or start the process? So the initiative, as uh, it is, it is uh, highlighted on the, on, the, on the screen, is to reinforcing African university innovation and entrepreneurial transformation capacity. Reinforcing African university innovation, we want to learn from the University of Turku. We want to learn from the Finland in general how to reinforce, how to transform African University to become what I say, entrepreneurial and innovative university. So that's what we want to, 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 to do. And now, when you do a very quick scan, what do we see? What are the current situation? With regard to the uh, entrepreneurial innovative university uh, on the continent, the first one is that we, we, we discovered that there is a lack of analytical report on the most recent development in innovation system, global value chain, inclusive innovation, and broader innovation ecosystems. There is a lack of in-depth analysis and about innovation system and strategy in Africa. There is a lack of a critical mass of uh, innovative entrepreneurial university. We do have some university which are doing many things in terms of innovation, but the critical mass that we need to support a workforce, the critical workforce that we require to push the two agenda, the agenda 2063 and the 2030 agenda for sustainable development is yet to be there. So, and what we say, we also discover is that the grow of, uh, the grow trajectory of innovation and entrepreneurial uh, entrepreneurship in most of our African universities have followed different paths. In some universities, you will see that uh, entrepreneurship is hosted by the business school, where they are teaching a student in business and basic, they are teaching students in entrepreneurship basic. And innovation, you will see it is somewhere uh, 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 in any of the variant of uh, uh, a university a, 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 a innovation system where or we will see them also maybe far somewhere in a technology transfer unit. When it comes to innovation, when they talk about innovation, they especially refer to innovation in education in a training which is more, for us, more than um, improvement than innovation as such. So there's also insufficient teaching culture about innovation and entrepreneurialism and the lack of entrepreneurship lecturer. So what are the opportunities do we have now? We ha one of the big opportunities that we are lucky, we have University of Turku. We can learn from them. And you know, creativity, innovation, entrepreneurship are the foundation or to what I will say, resilient and uh, dynamic uh, knowledge-based economy. So if um, we want uh, a, you know, a, a university to become more entrepreneurial, or if we want uh, a, a university to become more entrepreneurial, if we want to build a critical map of skilled people, innovation and entrepreneurship, 
we need to start looking for how our university can be transformed to what I would call the agent for socioeconomic and inclusive transformation. So there's also an opportunity for us to support the development of critical mass of innovative and entrepreneurial workforce that is required for the future of work. You know, we have started talking about the fourth revolution. We need people that are more entrepreneurial and more innovative. We have talking about the two agenda. If we want our two agenda to be mainstream in our development plan, we need people which are well trained and which are innovative. And you know, learn from entrepreneur innovative universities such as Tuku is a key for us. Now, in terms of the MOU that we signed with the University of Turku, what, what are the key areas? What do we say? What the MOU is talking about? We agree with the University of Turku that uh, under this MOU, we are going to work on research and evidence-based knowledge for innovation science and technology policy making and sustainable development for Africa. The MOU also, we are going to work together on a strategic domain for the transformation of Africa innovation, institutional, academic, entrepreneurship, the future and emerging technology. We are going to promote the mobility of experts between Finland and Africa on the above subject. And we are going to work together to identify joint activity, joint program together. So what have we identified too far, uh, too, uh, so far? The first one is a quick one. It's about, it's under innovation system and entrepreneurship. That's one is a straightforward what we can start now is the development of a course. Design a course on innovation and entrepreneurship online and face-to-face -face course for African university teaching staff. That one, we have started discussion already and we say for that one we don't need to wait. We can start it now and the course can be hosted both by ECA and by the University of Turku. The course that can support the training of African teacher. The second area under the innovation system entrepreneurship is about policy research. It's to generate knowledge product on the state of innovation system development in Africa and lesson learned from elsewhere like Finland. As I said at the beginning, we lack a kind of comprehensive analytical report in, in giving the state of art of what is innovation, what is going on in terms of innovation, and how can we learn from elsewhere. We need to provide the platform for knowledge exchange between the Finnish and African experts. And many what we say when we talk about course design and delivery, we're also thinking about to have a kind of a quick win webinar. Webinar where the role of ECA will be to mobilize the university with whom we have started working on already, where we can get results. And from University of Turku, some webinar will be presented, will be organized, to enhance the knowledge of these people before we move to the online training. The second project that uh, we have identified is about promote entrepreneurial university hub. This one is, we are going to look at uh, the readiness of African university at the sub-regional level and see are they ready, can they be transformed in entrepreneurial and innovative university? What, is, what are the missing link? And try to start with one or two sub-regional entrepreneurial university hub that can play a springboard role for other university. The third one, which is critical, is the Center for Education and Economic Insertion for Refugee. As you know, the Sub-Saharan Africa, as per the report from, uh, from UNHCR, hosts 26% of the world refugee, and globally, when you refer to the number of refugees in the world, 25 million refugees in the world, you have 25 million of them have less than age of 18. So having an innovative center for education and economic insertion for refugees, that will help us to resolve one of the social issues on the continent. Well, the objective of this center will be to facilitate the employability and education insertion to provide visibility of the economic potential of refugees in Africa, to contribute to refugee economic development governance in Africa, to provide evidence, data, and information based on skill and unskilled migration in Africa, and provide win-win situation where 
refugee and host community benefit from hosting refugee. And we have a roadmap where the key issue is to work together. So I'm going to ask uh, Pascal to, to, to continue. <coughs> So, um, before it's, it's difficult to talk before my boss, so <laughs> before UC comes up, I just want to make uh, a few remarks um, about the links between these projects. He ends with that we want to create a center for refugee uh, education and integration. One, we noticed that so many organizations have been doing this integration of education integration in Africa. UNICEF has been doing that. And some organizations like the Germans now are interested in the economic uh, aspect, but we noticed that they are fragmented. And what UNICEF has done more is with basic education more. So this gives impression that in Africa, they are just the low-skilled uh, low refugee. So, uh, of course, the, the statistics are showing that a majority uh, are women and children. But uh, the objective, as he said, was is to influence intra-African mobility. I was uh, at the EU uh, where we proposed this project, and immediately we proposed it. It was still in draft. And they said we will adopt it because anything that influences intra-African mobility of uh, refugees would, would work. So I just want to conclude by giving a few uh, links between this project. We are now hearing that the University of Turku has adopted itself as an entrepreneurial university. We are now hearing about um, the entrepreneurial university. One of the source, the developmental aspect of entrepreneurial university is actually the, Europe, the United Nations Economic Commission for Africa. When in 1962, it coined the term developmental university. So um, when we visited Addis, we raised this issue. And this was the same uh, issue in Europe. When in the 2000, Europe said we want to be uh, a knowledge, a Europe of knowledge, they turned around, they didn't find any university in Europe in the likes of the MIT and the Stanford in the United States. And that is the origin of uh, uh, the European University Institute in Europe that was created. Now, the objective of this project, as based on the discussion with the executive secretary, is that the United Nations Economic Commission for Africa wants to stand like this and say, if I need this, where do I want? So this project with University of Turku is aimed at uh, uh, you know, developing tools for assessing how innovative African universities become. And uh, the objective now would be to create uh, one university hub that looks entrepreneurial, finance it, strengthen it to, to be entrepreneurial and innovative. Thank you very much. You see what you say? Okay. Thank you.